Welcome back to the Peachy Keens. Today we're in beautiful Kentucky at Mammoth Cave National Park. We're going to spend two days here showing you things that you can do and see as well as lodging options. Let's go. Of course, one of the main things that you're going to want to do at Mammoth Cave will be the cave tours. You want to try to purchase these online before you come because they often sell out the day of. Once you enter the visitor center, on your left hand side there will be desks where you can go whether you have tickets or you need them. If you already have tickets, they'll show you how to download your tickets to show once you go outside. And this is also where you can purchase tickets if they have any available. Next, they will send you outside to the pavilions where you will meet your ranger for your tour. Prior to all tours, the ranger will meet with you to tell you what to expect and the rules while in the cave. The first tour we decided to take was the classic Mammoth Cave tour, which is the historic tour. This tour lasts approximately two hours, goes two miles, and 540 steps. When trying to decide which tour you want to take and sign up for, just take into consideration the different people in your group and their abilities, and then use the descriptions on the website to help you decide which tour would be best for your group. Folks, uh, as you walk into the cave, you get a lot of the kind of same questions that One of the most popular questions coming into this section of the cave that I get is how much of this is natural, how much of this was dug out. So far, what we've walked through is largely natural. The walls and the ceilings of these passages are, are original. Uh, you're looking at the way that, you know, the first pioneers coming into Kentucky in the late 1700s, the first ventures into the cave here, we think around 1798. While many portions of the historic tour go through huge rooms that gave Mammoth Cave its name, it also goes into much tighter spaces where you have to bend down to be sure not to hit your head. thought the historic tour was an excellent first tour to do at Mammoth Cave and we were ready for a harder challenge the next day so off to the Grand Avenue tour. The Grand Avenue tour is Mammoth Cave's longest walking tour that they offer. You begin by boarding a bus and taking about a short 10 minute drive up to where the cave entrance begins. <laughs> We're about to go on a four hour cave tour. What do you think? Are you up for the challenge? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> well, you better be. 
To go on the Grand Avenue tour, you must be six years old or older. This tour lasts four hours, goes four miles, and 1,313 steps. It includes the entire Frozen Niagara tour route and all of the Domes and Dripstones tour, except for the 280 stairs at the entrance. We found that our kids were able to handle this, but we were definitely all tired at the end. But it's a fantastic tour to follow up the historic tour if you're up for the challenge. One of the interesting features on this tour that your guide will point out is the gypsum that can be found on the walls and the ceiling that creates a nice sparkle effect. In case you're wondering, there are bathrooms available on this tour. A beautiful portion of this trip is where you walk through the slot canyons. There are about three or four occasions on this tour where you're able to sit and rest and ask the ranger questions, but the majority of the four hours is at a steady pace. My advice, if you want to keep at a very steady pace, stay right up front with the ranger. If you're in the back, you're constantly having to play catch up. All of that walking through the cave will pay off when you reach the end and see the frozen Niagara portion of the tour. If you are not up for walking the four miles, there is a tour that just features this one section where you only have to do 12 steps to come down and see the frozen Niagara portion. So you might consider that if you have people in your group not up for the longer tour. Be sure to keep an eye out for the cave crickets. All that walking will help you build up a good appetite. After you ride the short bus ride back to the visitor center, you will clean your feet off and right where you get off will be a little stand where you can purchase foods like pizza, pretzels, and other snack foods. There's also a picnic area where you can either eat your picnic that you've brought yourself or the food you've purchased at the stand. Up next on our list of things to do, you wanna head back inside and visit the museum where you'll find exhibits that'll help you learn more about Mammoth Cave. No, this is like that thing we saw on the wall, the gypsum flower. One nice thing about the museum, if you decide to go in while you're waiting on your cave tour, all of the exhibits have a clock to show you what time it is so that you don't miss your tour. Up next, you'll want to head to the park store, which can be found right inside the visitor center. Here you can purchase your Junior Ranger book. I believe they are about $2. You then want to take the time to go through your Junior Ranger book and complete the appropriate activities for your child's age. And then they can go to the ranger station in the middle of the visitor center where they'll be able to turn in their books to the ranger to check their activities. They then will take the junior ranger pledge and receive their badge. Up next on our list of things to do at Mammoth Cave is the Green River Ferry. The Green River Ferry was first developed in 1934 and is the last remaining active ferry in the park. The ferry will shuttle vehicles, hikers, and bikers across the Green River 364 days a year. Our family really enjoyed this experience. It was something we'd never done before. 
Make note that RVs and trailers are not allowed on the ferry. Going on the ferry, we're going on the ferry. Stop engine, set parking brake, stay in vehicle. Before with your car. <laughs> no, you haven't. Oh, We're doing it now. <laughs> Very slowly, we're moving across the river. <laughs> to oh, the Up next on our list of things to do at Mammoth Cave is to take your family on a hike. There are over 18 miles of hiking trails in Mammoth Cave, which are located on the south side of Green River. Here in this video, we are hiking the Cedar Sink Trail, which takes you out to a sinkhole. If you're considering the Cedar Sink Trail, you do want to take into consideration that there are about 150 steps that you must go down in order to reach where the sinkhole is located. Is this the sinkhole? No one knows. <laughs> yes, it is. Wait, let me say this. Is this the sinkhole? I don't know. Oh, look at the monkey I found on this trail. You better hope that's strong. <laughs> Good thing he does gymnastics. Unfortunately, the Mammoth Cave Hotel is currently under a roof replacement project. The estimated finish time is winter of 2023, but there are many other options in the park for lodging and camping. Up first is Sunset Terrace. Uh, the pictures look like this is like a hotel room, but it appears that there's no bathrooms available, which I think is the case for all the lodging at Mammoth Cave. There are showers where you can pay per couple of minutes uh, located in the camp store in the front of the park. Up next is the historic cottages. These are comfortably furnished and then there's just a short distance about 500 feet from the camp store and visitor center. Then we have the Woodland Cottages, which are in a grove of shade trees, perfect for relaxing with family and friends. The cottages do not have heat, AC, TV, or Wi-Fi, and they're usually available April 1st to November 1st. Our family really enjoys tent camping, so that's what we did when we visited Mammoth Cave. You can reserve these lodging and campsites on mammothcavelodge.com and recreation.gov. Mammoth Cave has so many wonderful activities to participate in, but as a bonus for sticking around to the end, we also wanted to share some other local favorites. Just about an hour north of Mammoth Cave is the Bernheim Arboretum Forest. Here you will find an exhibit of giants in the forest, which are really neat to see. Also north, you can find the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter, which both were really enjoyed by all members of our family. Joining us at Mammoth Cave, stay peachy.